Welcome to Business 230, Introduction to Business Statistics. I'm Keith. Our plan for today is to do a quick overview of the course. I say quick. It's probably going to be 30 minutes all said and done. Uh, we'll do an overview of the course, take a look at our learning management system, that is Desire to Learn, D2L, and uh, see how to navigate it and uh, look around from there. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have D2L's main login site. Again, how we would access this would just be online.comosin.ca. That one right there. Notice up here it jumps to a different URL. That's that's fine. Online.comosin.ca is what you'll want in order to be able to access this. To log in, you just have your C number and your password. Once those are put into place, you log in to D2L. On here, once it loads, you'll have a listing of all your courses down the left-hand side. For myself, there's the two sections I'm currently dealing with, Business Statistics, Biz 230, and Econ 103, Microeconomics. You select your corresponding relevant course, and then from there, we'll take a look at the relevant inside information. So here we have our main splash site, Biz 230, Intro to Business Statistics. On the main site, we have our news item. This is where I'll be posting little updates to the course, any big broadcasts out to everybody. This is where it will show up. Right hand side, myself, contact information office hours. Uh, you should be familiar with all this, as this is how you found this video. And then over on the right hand side, the calendar with upcoming events. Uh, other big place you're going to want to stop by, ultimately, we'll get through all of these toolbars up along the top. But the next big one is the checklist here. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, so here in the checklist, what we have is essentially your tasks for each day, or not each day, rather for each week. This here is just to help keep you organized. This way here, you can keep track as to, okay, what do I need to get done in Biz 230 for this week? Otherwise, between all the courses you're taking and everything you're trying to manage and juggle in your lives right now, it's tough to keep straight. What do I need to do? What don't I need to do? Where am I? So if we click on this, it's just a checklist. We have six items for our first week as to what we need to do. First item, read the syllabus. Now, where do you find the syllabus? Well, you don't need to worry about that. Ultimately, as we'll see, you can find it underneath content here, but that doesn't matter. You can click the hyperlink right here. You can re read the syllabus there. So check, we'll say that's done. Intro video, uh, we're watching that right now. So check, that's done. Post the intro to the discussion board. So we'll see that when we get to the discussion board topic, but up here, discussions, there is a introductory discussion board. This is a graded assignment. That is, it's actually for your participation marks. This here, just a quick introduction, who you are, what program you're in, why you're here, something exciting that happened over the summer or something you'd like to share. It just helps to make this more personable, more human, less robotic as we go through this course. It's online, right? We don't get to see each other or get to meet each other otherwise. This is for everybody. Everybody sees this, not just me. So make it appropriate for that. Uh, chapter one. This here links to our online textbook in OpenStax. So read chapter one. That's the uh, first part of the week. And then chapter one playlist. So the idea here is that I'll be posting playlists for the content to be covered, kind of a little video lecture of the material. I'll always attempt to post this a week ahead of time. So you're on here week one, both week one and week two are already up and running. Once we hit week two, week three will get posted. Now we carry on in that way. Finally, complete quiz one. Well, quiz one again, where do we get your quizzes? It's a graded item, so it matters. And again, we have a hyperlink right here to it. Uh, where would you find it otherwise? Well, through this quizzes tab, which we'll take a look at next. So that's our checklist. This is the idea as to what you'd want to complete for your first week. Once you're done, hit save to save it as completed so you can keep track as to where you are. In my case, I'm just going to hit cancel. Well, the checklist is your main one-stop shop. Discussions is the next one we're going to take a look at. Again, keep in mind, everything will be linked through the checklist form. Underneath discussions, we have two categories. First is going to be just general questions, like sort of a, what will become a running frequently asked questions or fact form. 
In this case here, you can just post general questions you may have about D2L, content, the course, etc. And it serves that either myself or another student could answer and provide kind of a running, a running common questions that we get to throughout the semester. Uh, how do we use the forms? Well, let's go in and take a look here. You open up, click the hyperlink. We'll go to start a new thread. And then once we have this, it's just entering these information. So we could um, post, I have a question for our topic, and then what your question is. There we go. So we post our question. Uh, if we wanted to take a look at updates for when people respond to it, we can hit this subscribe button and it will send us updates every time somebody responds to our question and or it checks to do that automatically. To finish, we would just hit post. It would show up in that frequently asked questions uh, thread and we could view it from there. Replying to threads, very similar. You'd open up the person's thread who has posted the question and hit the reply button. I'm just going to hit cancel to prevent posting that and head back to the main discussion list. Okay, so that's the main generic questions, frequently asked questions. If we keep scrolling down, and as we add more and more, you're going to have to keep scrolling down farther and farther, we have our first graded discussion board. And again, this was linked to directly from checklists. This is the same one from the checklists. And this is just our introduction. Being an online course, it's a bit cold, it's a bit distant. It's uh, nice to put a little bit of a human element into this. So just a quick introduction, who you are, what you're doing, why you're here, anything else fun that you might want to share with the group. This will be available for everyone to see, but uh, first graded aspect of the course, first bit of grade you can take. So that's our discussion board. As we carry on, new discussion will be added each week. The idea behind it, one question from the content that we've covered. Expectation is that you work through, you post your answer to the question, and then you respond to a peer. So they don't need to be long-winded responses. They don't need to be extravagant. They can simply be, hey, awesome, we got the same answer. Way to go. Or, oh, we got different answers. I think you are right because X, Y, Z. Or I think I am right because X, Y, Z. So just very limited, doesn't need to be in depth, but weekly questions that will be posted and the expectations that you respond and you respond to appear. That's our discussion board. Our next one to look at here is the quizzes. Quiz tool, again, you can access this through the checklist directly. We also have it through here. So through our quiz list, we have all of our quizzes throughout the semester. We'll have 10 of them all together. For each quiz, you have three attempts, your highest score is kept, and additionally, we'll drop your lowest two quizzes. So say you had a bad week, you couldn't get to one of the quizzes, well, okay, that's going to be unfortunate because you'll miss out on your check to see if you understood the material and all that, but not the end of the world grade-wise because that quiz would be dropped. So ultimately, it's best 8 out of 10 is what is counted, and we can open this up and take a look at it if we want to go and uh, take a look at what these quizzes look like. To do that, we'll just click on it and go from there. Okay, so inside the quiz, we have all of the introduction and description about it. So here, here's the topics that are gonna be covered in the quiz, and some little updates about other bits, right? So for example, you do not like to use these little symbols, etc. Just use the straight number or the decimal if required. Uh, if we want to take a look what the quiz looks like, we can go start quiz. And what we have is we have one question per page. So altogether we have 10 pages, 10 questions. And you just answer and then move on to the next one. So, for example, in this case here, the main purpose of descriptive statistics is to, we could say, hey, main purpose of descriptive statistics is to summarize data in a useful and informative manner. It seems like you're looking at this and your eyes drawn to this submit quiz. Careful with that. If we submit the quiz, it goes, warning, you have not answered all of these questions. Are you sure you want to submit it? And you can go, oh no, what have I done? You can go back to questions here. 
and you can go okay yep yeah, that's good next page and we can move on move on move on through here um, this isn't set up properly at the moment but what we'll find is that when we actually do this you will not be able to move backwards through the questions so once the question is answered and you move to the next page that question answer is locked in and you are now stuck with that answer so make sure you really answer it correctly the right time as you carry on, you get your next question, and again, can carry on answering. A sample is a portion or part of the population, and next page. Once you're done, then we go to submit. And yes, we have a whole bunch of extra ones, and we can go to submit the quiz. Here we go. We see our answers and what it should have been for all the others. Done, and it shows us our result. That does it for the quiz section. We could look at the same for all of them and same kind of idea for everyone there. Next one along the top is our assignments. If we jump over here, we're not gonna need to use this until closer to our midterm and final dates. These are the due dates that we currently have set for midterm one, midterm two, and the final. Part of our final is a take home portion to be completed and submitted as a PDF document. That is important, it will only accept one PDF document. We'll go through how to make sure, how to upload, how to save as PDF and all that as we get closer to the date. But keep these dates in mind, these are the midterms and final dates. They can also be found in the syllabus as I've recommended you read. So this is the assignments, uh, there's nothing in here right now. If we open it, ultimately, this is just a Dropbox for you to add a file and drop in your take home portion of your file. Once it's uploaded, hit submit, and then it notifies me that you've submitted it and I can begin grading. So where you'll find stuff, where you'll submit, sorry, for your midterms and final. Carrying on, next one we have is collaborate. Collaborate is our online multi-people all get in kind of meeting tool. Very similar to Zoom or Google Meet or one of the many other alternatives out there. Uh, once we get click Collaborate, you get a screen that's going to be somewhat similar to this. Uh, for the most part, we'll just be using this course room here. So we can just click that and join the course. Uh, if you need to dial in by phone instead of using your computer, you can use this uh, anonymous dial-in. If we join the course room though, it shows up with your name and all that bit of information. It won't work perfectly because I'm already using the webcam, no one else is here, but we can get an idea of the basics. So basic join screen, from here you can mute your audio, share your video, you can raise your hand and ask a question. Here's some status and settings, so you can go through this, you can say hey you're away, you can leave. You can give feedback as to how you are with the session. Are you sad, confused, surprised, happy? Do you want it to go faster? Do you want it to go slower? Do you agree or disagree with what's being said? So just a way that you can participate, get involved without uh, necessarily putting on your audio and getting involved that way. Over on the right hand side, we have this little purple ribbon. If we click and open this guy here up, we get our chat. So we can say hi and talk to everybody and it'll be a running chat between all participants. Going over, number of participants, attendees, well, just myself. Next one, sharing content. This is where we'll use a whole bunch. We can share a blank whiteboard. From this blank whiteboard, we can do all sorts of stuff. We can, right, we can draw a graph. Uh, maybe we're looking at GDP over time, something like that. So we can go, here's GDP time, and we can work through some kind of problem based off of that if need be. So whiteboard, likely we're going to be spending a lot of time to be working through some problems, working through situations. Um, try to get a bit better than these squiggly lines that we're dealing with right now, and uh, typically spend a bit more time to make it a bit prettier. What else can we do? We can share the application screen. So what I currently have up on my monitors could share one of those or a specific window. Share camera if we want to turn the webcam on. Right now it's already being used for this video so it won't work to share the camera. 
share files, some PDF, some Word document, some file that we wanted to share to the group, could hit share files and open that guy up. Polling, we could create little polls. What is your thought of X, Y, Z? Open that up to the group and you can anonymously select your response and submit. Breakout groups, don't need to worry about this one, but if we wanted to break out into smaller little discussion groups, I could create those and send you off to that. Settings, not much to look at in here. If you wanna play around with it, you have your audio video not notification session. Uh, not, not much to play around with really though. Over to the other side, we have your view controls. So if that was too small for you, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can do a best fit, and you can do actual size. So some different options you have to change the size of the presentation. This one here, session menu, not much to happen here. Big one for me is to start recording. Uh, just so you know, our collaborate sessions, etc., will likely be recorded. This way here, we have office hours. You asked a question. Oh no, you forgot the answer. You don't have the work. What's going on? Well, the recording will be saved and uploaded so that you can follow along and say, oh yeah, yeah, that's what we talked about. That's what we worked through. So recording option there. And of course, right here at the bottom, when we're done, we can leave the session. And how well was it? We'll say it was excellent. Jumping over to the grades toolbar. Here we have all of our grade points. So as we were saying with the quizzes, your lowest two quizzes are dropped. So we see that already here. Uh, D2L has just assigned the first two quizzes that currently have zero to 10 to be dropped. Altogether, as we said, we have 11 quizzes. Altogether, your quizzes are 15% of your total grade. Carrying on down through the grade book, we see our projects. So these projects, these are, these are the midterms, right? So midterm one, 20%, midterm two, 20%, final midterm, 30%. Uh, you see that all of these midterms and finals, they are broken up between two sections. We have the D2L quiz portion. This will be very similar to your weekly quizzes, multiple choice, numerical questions, fill in the blank, matching, this kind of idea. That's gonna account for 15 out of that 20%. There will also be a take-home portion of the project. This take-home portion may be doing a bit of work, a bit of analysis in Excel. Uh, this will be your higher level thinking. So think of the kind of questions that are analyze, explain, describe, things that require that, well, that higher level of thinking. Altogether, the two account for that 20%, 15 for the take-home, sorry, 15 for the D2L quiz, five for the take-home. Similar kind of layout for the second midterm and the final itself. Last great item we'll see here on the bottom is the participation. That is another 15% and that is from the discussion boards as we have already seen. Okay, last one here. Oh, not quite last one. Almost, almost there. Content. Our content tab, for the most part, you won't need to access this. Again, everything you need is through the checklist. It will all be hyperlinked to where it is. But say week one, here's the syllabus, and now you're like week eight, and you're like, oh no, when is the next midterm? Well, you can always come either through the checklist, go back to week one and find it that way, or go through our content and find all our posted files through here. It'll be organized when we go through. Right now, all we have is the syllabus, so right now, this is all that's here. You can click on it, take a look at our schedule, and go, oh, okay, that's when the midterm is. Great. Okay, final one, class list. Class list, this here just shows us our list of everybody who's enrolled in the course. Right now, just myself. Uh, when you click on it, right, you can view the information of the individual, you can send them an email, sorry. The hyperlink sends an email. If you want to as well, you can use this little drop down and you can go view blog, view shared locker files or send an email. Okay, so there we go, that's your options there. Um, there's no blog, there's no shared locker files. Email is the only real option you have in that. Uh, what helps for an online course, right, to give Faces to names, again, just to bring the human aspect into this online learning environment. 
it is helpful if you go up to your profile up here in the top right and you go and select the profile aspect. From here, you can upload a picture. If you're comfortable doing so, well, it helps to put a face to the name, right? It makes it a bit more human, not just, hey, here's the other number or the other name. No idea what that means. If you want, if you have another nickname you go by, you can add that here. If you want to add social networks, feel free. Contact information, education, and work. Keep in mind, all of this is, I don't want to say public, but it is public amongst your classmates. So anything you add here, do so with, would you want to share it with uh, potentially a few other strangers? So once you update that, you can save and close. That does the class list aspect. That does how to access your profile. Again, if you're comfortable, upload a picture, upload some information about you. Just creates that whole human aspect, makes it a lot less cold and robotic as we go through this online learning environment. Final bit back here to our main splash page. Here we have the initial introduction, which I'm sure most of you have already read as that's where you got the link to this initial video. Carrying down through it, we see the link to the syllabus here. Make sure you read that. It has important information about the course, uh, important information for drop dates, uh, when our exams are, when things are due, final exams, etc. Uh, the textbook. This year we're deviating from the normal for the textbook. Uh, we do have the custom edition textbook, which we normally use here in Biz 230. Given the online delivery, given that many of you are not actually here in Victoria, it makes it a bit difficult. And as there's no option to order on Amazon or any other sources than that, I've switched to using just a free open source textbook through openstacks.org. If you click on that link, it'll bring you right through the textbook. That's the one that we will be using. If by chance you already have that old textbook, you picked one up from a friend, or you have it because you plan to go on to Business 231, which will use the same text, that's fine. You can continue to use that textbook. They're virtually identical between the free online version and that custom one that we have traditionally used. Scrolling down, uh, we've talked about most of this already in the previous bits. Lecture videos, I'll do my best to get the videos posted a week before that content's actually covered. So when you get logged in here, you'll already see that we have videos up for week one, week two, as well as this intro video. Once we get to week two, the week three video will get posted, etc., etc. Office hours, as we've seen, this will be done through Collaborate. We'll be holding our office hours on Thursdays at 12.30. Uh, we'll be logged on there. This is a great chance to touch base, get some help with some questions you might be having trouble with, and rehash material. What office hours are not? Office hours are not me just going through a lecture. If you come into the situation and you've done the readings, you've looked at the videos, you've really worked through it yourself and you're just not getting it, great. We'll spend the time working through office hours to get through the problem. You show up, you talk to me, and you're just like, hey, I'm not understanding probability, the whole chapter, and you haven't looked at it, you haven't done videos, you haven't tried to figure it out on your own, well, I'm not going to reteach a whole subject during the office hours. So if you're doing the effort, if you're putting in the work, I will put in that effort or more to get you caught up to where you need to be. But keep in mind, this falls on you first. Going on. Quizzes and midterms, we've talked about that already underneath the appropriate toolbar. Same with discussions and the participation marks. Final notes, uh, how to get in contact with me if you have questions, if you have concerns. Uh, right here at the bottom, this is our basic idea here. So first way, take a look at the D2L discussion board, the frequently asked questions. Likely any question you have will be a question that others have there too. So consider posting it here first. If that doesn't seem appropriate, Feel free to ask during an office hour session or feel free to email me at the email address here. Keep in mind, depending on the question you end up shooting me to my email, I may choose to say, hey, you know what? That was a great question. That was a great question that probably I'm going to have a hundred more times. I might not actually answer your question in email. I might just reply to you, please check the frequently asked questions. I'm not being short. I'm not being snarky. I'm just saying, hey, instead of me answering this question twice, I'm going to copy your email over to the discussion board, post it to the frequently asked questions, and answer it there. 
So that way there is just can be benefit to everyone. Just keep that in mind as we go through all that. And if I just give you that short email, it's just to save a bit of time in answering so many emails. That does it for the course. I know it's not ideal. I know that many of you didn't sign up to be in an online environment, but we'll get through this, right? It's We're all in this same situation together. First time for myself teaching online as well. So we're in it together. We'll get through it. Then it'll be a great, a great semester come the end. Look forward to the semester. We'll be posting shortly a uh, time and a date that we'll have an initial kind of meet through Collaborate. Entirely just optional if you want to show up, if you have any questions you want to ask. The only real plan for it is to more or less go through the extent of what this video already was. What's on D2L, how to access D2L, where the textbook is, expectations for the course, etc. So if you don't feel like showing up, that's fine. But if you do, I'll post up on this news feed here shortly as to when that will take place in Collaborate sometime during our first week. Thanks. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.